Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, December 15th. Uh, those of you who've been watching know that I've been listing Christmas items the last couple weeks and yesterday I discovered a tote of Christmas items in the garage that I didn't even know I had. Let me show you what we found. So here it is. I've laid everything out in different uh, listings that I want to do. I think there's 10 of them out here. Let me give you guys a closer look. This is a little uh, white and green hat. Um, this fake snow, I added that to the mix, and this is a um, a rug that goes around your Christmas tree. Over here we have uh, a red stocking, a gift bag, and this is a bottle bag by Country Silk. I was going to do this little uh, stocking in the little Merry Christmas bag, and uh, these are more of a stocking stuff. There's a little knife and the Nightmare Before Christmas. Over here we have two sets of 100 icicle lights. Going to do those two. Um, again, more of these bottle bags. I'm going to put it in this floral gift bag. Put that together. So if someone wants to give a bottle of wine, we got a couple here. We got another suit with a hat and a green bottle bag. And then this one I'm going to double up and do two bags that will fit in this large red, green, red um, gift bag, rather. And over here we have two more bags and these takeout containers. So I think that's ten different listings. Yeah, there's ten quick Christmas listings that I can get online today. And then I'm going to dive into these holiday junk drawer boxes that I put together. I put those together at the beginning of all of this Christmas stuff and they didn't do quite as good as I'd hoped. I think the um, shipping rates stopped them from selling but there's some good stuff in those boxes that I'm going to pull out and list individually some of the nicer stockings and whatnot. So I'm going to pull all those out and take a second look at those. Get all this Christmas stuff listed before the big day. That's the plan. So here's a look at those seven uh, junk drawer boxes that I created. All Christmas items. So I ran those uh, junk drawer boxes as auction. Started them at $9.99. Uh, and then lowered the price to $4.99. Um, I could lower them again, but I just don't think I want to go that low. Anytime you can make only $5, it's just not worth your time. So I think what I'm going to do is open them up. Pull all the good stuff out of it that I want to list individually and then probably just donate the rest of it. So that's the chore for today to go through those a little bit and uh, find the good stuff in them that I think is worth my time to list. So let's take a look. All right, I've got all these boxes opened up and I'm starting to go through them, pull some of the nicer stuff out. Uh, let me give you guys a Here's look. Here's what I created, just little boxes with all kinds of Christmas goodies. Um, I think uh, it's more of a uh, specialized market, this Christmas stuff. If it's not something people are searching for, they're not really looking to get a bunch of random Christmas ornaments. I think that was the problem. So we got plenty here. I mean, I tried all those at $4.99. This one I even listed for $0.99, cents, this whole box full with a lower shipping rate, and still nobody bought it. So I'm going to pull some of the new items out of here, like this one. Like uh, There's a bunch of these uh, new ornaments. i get some of that stuff. Um, there's this Snoopy Christmas uh, stocking. Uh, I know that's probably worth about 20 bucks, so um, I'll list that individually. Get some of these nicer th ornaments uh, out of here. Like this was a, um, a trio of ornaments, that uh, vintage ornaments that we could probably list individually. And I threw some strange stuff in there as well. Like this globe was part of the storage unit that we bought probably list that individually someone might want that there was a Star Trek book a random Star Trek book uh, we can list that individually um, there was a bunch of these uh, bags that we just threw on top so some valuable stuff in here we'll have to sift through it a little bit more and see what else we can pull out of these that we might be able to list individually I don't know some of this is probably just donatable but uh, we'll take a look through Here's another one of those brand new ornaments. We can put all those together, hopefully find them all, and uh, reassess things and see if we have any money left here to be made or if it's all just to be donated.
All right, I'm about halfway through these Christmas boxes that I created, just taking a look again at some of the stuff we could salvage and list individually. Uh, the bulk listings did not work out, so uh, live and learn. We won't try that again. Um, but we do have some stuff here we could list individually. Let me show you some of it. So I showed you that Snoopy stocking. There was another one here with a reindeer on it. And then these big, gigantic ones. There's two of them there. This is all the stuff I'm going to set aside to donate. But uh, there was some new stuff in here. I know they were a collector of Snoopy. So this little Snoopy um, snow globe, I guess it is. Um, there's a little bell in here. I don't know what that is. A couple Chicago um, ornaments. This is kind of a brand new glass for a candle, I think. And then there was all this stuff uh, that was thrown in. I'm not sure we could maybe bulk that up. This is actually a picture frame. There's two picture frames. There's a little Tigger here and a little cat. Looks like the cat's ear broke off, so we'll donate that cat. Um, there was some nice sets of lights. These were kind of cool. These had the um, peppers the chili peppers to it. Um, so we'll have to test some of those lights. You guys saw the ornaments here, but there was all this brand new stuff. These cookie cutters, Christmas shaped uh, cookie cutters. A couple brand new hooks and um, I guess these are Christmas uh, suction cups. These were the brand new ornaments I was telling you about. There was a whole bunch of those. And then these are all just uh, labeled little sheets of labels uh, where you could put people's names on them. So we got three more boxes. Let's see what else we got. All right, I think I got it separated a little bit uh, better now. Let me show you what I uh, separated it into. This is a gigantic donation box, all Christmas stuff. This is kind of the nicer um, knickknacks and whatnot that I'll probably think about putting together into some sort of lot. These are all ornaments here, so we could probably do another ornament lot. Again, the brand new confetti. And the ornaments there, the bags, the Star Trek book. And then this stuff was all brand new too. I, I imagine I could list these individually. You'd probably do these uh, really cheap. And these labels, you could probably do one listing for those. These two are a little bit different, so another listing for those. But yeah, there's a couple of listings you could put together. Um, not sure I'm going to spend too much time on it, but uh, maybe... I still have four more of those boxes that are still at auction. They're going to be ending this weekend, so I might just wait on those to end and pull a few more items from that before I decide what I want to do with that stuff. But uh, the time is coming. i got to decide if I want to donate it all or just uh, list it up and uh, hope it sells this year or next year. We'll see. There was some stuff that didn't make it online this year. I think this big wreath is going to be donated. This little metal tree. These ornaments here. Just boxes of ornaments that I, I don't think are worth it. And then these were the four boxes that I still have to end. Left to end. This is a nice uh, Easter dish set that I'm going to get listed. Um, so that's probably worth quite a bit of money but um, the rest of it Probably when you wait. look at a nice set like this and it just sells so cheap uh, at Walmart or wherever they buy it that it's hard to make any money. Well, $29.99 originally for this. It has a tree topper and 119 ornaments. So, I mean, that's a fair amount, but it's just so awkward to ship that thing. Um, I don't know if it's worth my time to list it or not. I think if maybe I can find a place to store some of this Christmas stuff, like that brand new set of ornaments for $29.99, I could go ahead and get that listed and uh, hopefully find a buyer for it next season. Or who knows, it might sell throughout the year that stranger things have happened. But I think the bulk of those Christmas sales come in November and December, so uh, that time has come. But um, we're getting ready to get back onto our regular listing schedule uh, with some more regular items. But uh, we've got to deal with this Christmas stuff first. All right, we had the 10 original Christmas listings here in the photo station. I added four more to it. So now I'm going to get busy and photograph that stuff so we can begin listing. Well, it is. It's all laid out and ready for me. These were the additional four that I'm going to add to it right now. So let's get to work and get this stuff online. So as I'm taking photos of this Christmas stuff, I'm reminded of that saying, you either learn or you grow. I think that's what I'm having to go through with these uh, junk drawer boxes. It was a good idea, I thought, at the beginning. You tried it. Uh, they failed. Nobody bought them. I thought, you know, maybe some people would like to uh, load up on uh, holiday ornaments and stuff. It would be perfect, uh, you know, impulse buying in the holiday season. Seemed like the perfect time to do it. Put out those... Um, 
holiday junk drawer boxes. A lot of people are already searching for uh, junk drawers online, so we took advantage of those keywords. I got some eyes on them. It's not like nobody was uh, looking at them. They just, uh, I think the shipping, the shipping for those large uh, flat rate boxes were was a bit too much. Um, I lowered the price on the shipping the second time around, dropped the price, and still nobody was interested. So I think uh, the Christmas stuff that is selling out of the store is very um, unique, um, special stuff that's hard to find. Uh, ornaments that are out of date uh, or you know um, no longer being made, um, vintage stuff. Uh, that sort of stuff still sells, but this um, cookie cutter stuff that you can buy at Walmart or Target or Fred Meyer or whatever, that stuff is not selling. Um, there's no online market for it. I think, uh, again, it's a um, case of a, the market being saturated with that stuff. There's so much of it out there. It's so inexpensive. Uh, they can go to those places and buy them, so why would they go online and pay shipping for it? Um, so live and learn you either so i knew that didn't sound right it's not either learn or you grow it's you i never lose i either win or i learn and it was by Nan nelson mandela he said that i never lose i either win or i learn so that's what i meant to say you guys get the point all right i got all that stuff uh, photographed now it's time to get into list mode and get it all online i did sweeten the deal a little and add a few additional items from those boxes to um, what I had laid out there and showed you. Let me give you a look. I showed you this, but I have this little fake snow to that. Um, this was um, Snowberry Wreath Scented Ornaments. It smells really good. I opened it up. It smells really good. It's uh, There's a few missing, but um, enough that we could add it in and sweeten the deal. Added another ornament here. It was just a plastic hanging ornament. So there's this two ornaments and a gift bag for that one. And then over here we added this uh, Christmas tree dispenser for soap dispenser to uh, put on your sink or wherever and uh, liven up the spirits. So it's about 1.30 now. I think I'm going to get busy and list a few of those items up and then we'll check back and uh, go over what sold it today. So stay tuned and I'll show you. Alright, I got a few of those Christmas items listed. I'm going to work on uh, getting the rest of them up tomorrow. Got card night tonight. Gonna go play some cards. And then uh, this weekend the work continues. Like I said, that Christmas stuff will go up as well as all those sneakers I have um, waiting for me in the photo station. I'll probably give you guys another look at those tomorrow, so come on back. I want to thank everybody for watching. This is my attempt to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second to do so. Ring that notification bell. And come back this weekend and watch a few videos. Help me get a little closer to that goal. 4,000 hours is a long time. I'm uh, almost to 1,000. Well, getting closer. So uh, one-fourth of the way there. we got a long ways to go. So if you could come and watch a few along the way, it would help me out a lot. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.